Hello people and welcome back to another video. Now this is again I've been playing for a long time. I've got like over 510 hours of it. It only costs like £2.29. It is Age of... Yeah, this is weird. It's, it's Sometimes it's known as Age of History 2. Sometimes it's known, known as Age of Civilizations 2. Now, it's a pretty cool game. Now I've already done a lot in it. Um, so, one thing that I did is I created my own one, this is just a joke one, um, Pakistan independence, I don't think this is actually accurate, Europe after World War II, I had to create West Germany and East Germany, who weren't in the game before I completely created them, uh, and I created Europe after World War One, and I created the entire World War One map. I also created 1700, 1648, and 1492. Specifically 1492, because you should know that's when um, what America was discovered. Now, I'm just going to be playing as um, the normal one. Well, considered normal. It's probably going to uh, start so not responding a lot, but should be fine. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, because I have no other apps. I guess. Should I do a Castile? Um. Because I could actually form Spain. But I'd, I'd need to make like a big alliance with. Um. With Naples to get. So Naples could get Sicily and I forgot what this island is called. And we could get. Uh. This area. And we also need to get this area. We also need to get Naval. And maybe I should play on another one. Maybe I could play as England. Yeah, playing as tribes are boring. It would maybe be fun to bring back the well bring back Byzantium but meh. Maybe forming Italy, because because yeah, can because if we get if we beat the Papal States, Albino, Florence, Siena, um, Fer Ferrara, um, Luca, Lusa, uh, Milan, Mont uh, Montferrat, Ferrat, so a bit of Spoy, Milan. Uh, Mantua, uh, Venice, and then we take some of Austria's land. Yeah, yeah, this is intended as being as Naples. But maybe, I'm not sure who to do this as. Sorry, yeah, this is it's acting all weird. I think it's not not meant to be. Uh, I actually been set as a tribal place. Yep. Yeah, I didn't mean. It. I think something weird happened. Yeah, it's just really acting weird here. And I don't know why. Uh, this is gonna get really annoying sometimes. I wanted to play. As Castile play, I, I bet it just chooses me as something random though. <laughs> but that would be kind of funny though. I acting so weird. This isn't what the main the main game's meant to be like. Yeah, acting super weird. Oh, it's not that. It's not what I'm. It's not because I'm recording it. It's because it's not in full screen and it's just acting strange because it doesn't like not being in full screen. So if you want to like click on the Istanbul prompts, you have to be very precise where you click. It's going to annoy me so much. Naples. How do they not want to make an alliance of us? Usually, you only need like 36 to create. Not 36, you only need like 8 to create an alliance. 
Okay, forming Spain, that would be Granada, Aragon, and Navarre, that I would need to beat. And then after I uh, form Spain, I could form this Spain. Then after forming that Spain, I can form the Spanish Empire, which would actually include defeating my, my mates Naples, which would be a great idea. Yeah, in this game, you can only um, declare war after a uh, four turn because yeah it's a it's a turn based strategy game not one of those like fancy games like Wii 4 uh which I've got yeah I may actually record yeah um yeah I don't really care about this stuff right now so yeah but do you guys want videos okay yeah low stability why would I because it's actually Galicia. Maybe I should allow Galicia to become the country again, like release them as a vassal. So, out of the map mode. Oh, you can. That. Oh, that's just me. See you. Okay, so, yeah, we got all these types of maps. I only really use alliances. Just because it gives you a better uh, view of what all the alliances are. Yeah, it's not usually this slow. Mm, I could be, I'm not sure what I should do. Castile, 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 <laughs> I don't know what it is. England, for some reason, I'm good friends with us. Although in real life, they hated each other. Yeah, I've been doing more videos and more games. Granada, Aragon, and Navarra are the only three people need to be. Oh, yeah, that is so much more because we also need Calais, which is part of the English territory, which will be a big fuss getting. Well, we only need. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Only need to get four countries that and we're the biggest one out of those <laughs> I don't really know what to do because I don't really want to declare war on anyone until I got Naples on my side and Naples just don't want to join for some reason we have such a good relationship now it's turn 20 hopefully they'll want to oh so close maybe like There, okay, so now we've got a, an alliance, so the alliance looks kind of like this, but we only have like two places to run though, so, yeah, so okay. <laughs> I think I should attack Aragon first. They're mate, because they're my big rivals as well, and it would allow um, Naples to start uh, um, making Italy one country, and allow me to make.
Spain one country, which would be interesting if both of Italy and Spain, like Spain would only be in this, if I did form Spain, it would only be Granada, please, please accept this, or else I'm, I'm gonna be dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna accept it. Oh, they did. Yeah, I hate it when, like, you're not prepared at all. Oh, let's declare war on them. Yeah, of course, right after they send an insult. How can you insult another nation, actually? Oh, your nation's kind of wide. <laughs> to be fair, Castile kind of thick. But yeah. <laughs> 3,200 or no more. That would not end well, so yep. Yep. Okay, I, bas I can basically declare war on them now. If, if I only. Okay, come on, Naples, actually do something. Okay. I hate how for some reason Aragon always get to have like their turn first. That sounds like just I'm like a child complaining. Well, I am a child, but I'm not complaining. Well, I guess you could consider that complaining actually. I would be very shocked if. I actually win this. I'm probably... Yeah, okay. Naples are doing as good as I hoped they would. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just this some weird thing that declares who goes, uh, who gets that on first. Okay, so I'll send like, okay, like 454 people there, 197 people there. Now I want to send, you know, about, um, third of them to reach on here. Definitely not equal between all of them, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bad. I bet they get their turn first. Yep, they do, of course, because it's because it's a game and it's the AI again. They always get their uh, thing first.
No, no, you haven't. We we should get all their land after doing that well against them. You that's you basically just ripping us off. Come on. I guess at least next time it's easier to defeat them, but still. Yeah, the problem with this way would be that we kind of wrap around them. And I don't really want them. I prefer it to look more like this. I got an easy path to walk in and basically just destroy them. No one's gonna accept it yet, but I knew it! This is the most annoying part every time I play this game. You think like, oh yeah, you basically got all the land I wanted. It should be fine, of course. No, so. Got a bit of it. Okay, um, the war is won, right as an autosave happens, yes. I'll press take all and see what the AI thinks. I don't want all that. <sighs> Should I? Should I keep like Mallorca and well and uh, give away the central island? Should I keep the central island and Andorra? Or should I just keep another piece of land? If I do this, in the next war I'll have the advantage, I'll explain, after the peace treaty. You see, if I have this, they'll to four possible places to attack us, but now they've got two possible places to attack us, and we've got three possible places to attack, basically meaning we're stronger. Okay. Province stability. Wesker. Ibiza, um, I don't know, Zalgoza, Valencia, Tarazona, that's like, that's basically, that's basically, I can imagine that's a Arizona in sport. Every time I've been to Spain, it has been Arizona. Yeah, in Spain, it's just extremely hot all the time. I guess that's what you'd expect from Spain. Never, that's good. I think that would be good a video just showing you the game that I like and stuff that I could watch and also not watch play in the future. So, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And bye.